What's up guys? So in a previous video, we finally identified that LEDs are not the way to go in these factory projector headlights on these fourth gen Rams, but HID is. Right now there's 6,000K in there. I wanna compare those with 5,000K for this video. In another video, we're gonna go ahead and compare the 6,000 to the 4,300 and then the 5,000 compared to the 4,300. So we got a few videos on the way guys, but this video, 6,000 versus 5,000. I'm already doing some work on the front end. I already got the grill off. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop that uh, headlight out. If you guys don't know how to take off the grill or the headlights, check out my other videos because I show exactly how to get that done, but I wanna get into the good stuff for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead, swap that bulb out and we'll get into the comparison. Here's the color of the 6,000K as they warm up just before we get into things. So 6000K, it does have quite a bit of blue to it for 6000K. Of course, as they warm up, it kind of goes a little bit whiter, but I'd like to get some more true white um, because the blue tends to lose a bit of lighting. So um, tends the more color you kind of go, uh, the less light output or the less that illuminates the road, it seems. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this driver side and we'll put the 5000K bulb in there. Everything else gonna remain the same so that we don't have any different variables. Just the 5000K bulb is gonna be swapped out, still staying the same ballast and everything that way. All right, here's the back of the headlight guys. So we're gonna pop off this cover. And like I said, all of this instructions is in another video. Exactly how to do all this and install the kit. So, but I'll link everything in the description below so you guys can jump back to those videos for those of you that are stopping by for the first time. And here we go. So here is the bulb. And again, these are the 6,000K ones that we have. And this is the 5,000K that I have that we're gonna be trying out. So we'll start by getting our new bulb ready to go, which really isn't much, but let's just take it out of the plastic here. And it's case, of course, with this stuff, guys, you don't wanna get your fingerprints or your hands or uh, oils on the bulb because then it's going to shorten the life so this is very simple we just pop this send this through actually it's the opposite direction so we're going to pass all of this stuff through guys and it's through and then we're going to do the same on this end pass this clip through along with these Put our grommet into place. And we're not sure which one, some guys recommend putting silicone on this, but we're gonna be testing a few different kits, so we're not gonna finalize anything yet, but this grommet um, should do plenty well for now. It's not like uh, we're gonna get any dirt or anything in there. So now we can go ahead, install our bulb. Really, it can only go one way. Turn it clockwise till it locks into place reinstall our factory power connection and we can go ahead and put our cover back on. Okay guys, here it is illuminated. Oh, it was illuminated, but there it is. And it is a much whiter light and this brand, the Innovited, the 5000K. Hopefully you guys can see that uh, white light compared to over here. It is much more blue, the 6000K from this company, Innovited. So that is pretty blue. And again, as a comparison, look at how white it is. Hopefully you can see both at the same time. There's a big difference between 5000 and 6000K. I'll agree with you guys. The blue one does look a lot cooler but, um, you know, at the same time, uh, the blue doesn't illuminate the road as well as this white will. This white looks a lot more factory. It's closer to the factory color that comes in HIDs uh, from the factory. But again, the blue looks cool, but it doesn't illuminate as well. So I'm interested to see what this is gonna look like at nighttime. Okay guys, we are now at nighttime and you can see the obvious difference in color. 
this driver side being the 5000 k and the passenger side being 6000 k so that is the color difference and walking out beside it again you can see the color difference both make it down to the end of the parking lot very well here's the head-on color difference so you can see very clear difference Here we are walking around and check out the illumination on the ground. So you can see this one uh, a much bluer color, that one a uh, more yellowish color. But uh, let me know what you guys think as far as which one looks better. They both seem to travel just as far but just different color. Let me know what you guys think of the difference between the 5000 and the 6000K. I think uh, there is a big difference, but uh, it's just mainly a color preference. So you can definitely just see the difference. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We're gonna be doing uh, 5000K compared to 4300K on the same setup. The cutoff's gonna be the same on all these guys, but it's just a color preference. So I wanted to show you guys a very clear indication of the color difference. But as always guys, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you on the next video, but make sure to check out the other videos on the channel. Uh, Cause we have a lot of other lighting stuff, mods, performance, supercharging the truck, everything. So we'll see you on the next video guys. Take care.